Good day everyone. It is nice over here for you and I because learning never ends and education is the key to an impactful life. My name is Anthony Nathaniel. Everyone, I welcome you back to Global Education Zone. And today, which is the third episode of um, our data processing for SS1, we are going to be dealing with data and information. Now, data is very important. In fact, I don't even need to say it. That is simply an understatement. Because imagine losing all the data in your computer. That would be insane, right? So that is why we study data and information. Because of their importance. They are very important in our world today. Now, data can be defined as the raw and unorganized or unprocessed parts that need to be processed. Just like when you download the um, pictures which you want to use for a PowerPoint presentation. Now, those pictures, whether you like it or not, in in um, re relative to your final final aim, they are like the data. But then, by the time you combine them with the text and so on and so forth, they become the information. So data, we can see it as the raw facts. Data is actually that raw facts that have not been organized. But information, on the other hand, can be seen as the useful part of data. So this information, they are useful and they've been converted. So that is why when you make a PowerPoint presentation, you not just see the pictures, but you see the data as a whole. You become holistic. So that's, that information has one unique priority of being holistic. That means you can see it as a product. We don't see it again as consisting of its components. And the components of that information are the raw data. So I hope you you will be able to appreciate the um the the um the the role that data plays in in the process and the products of information. And there are different types of data. There is um you have your qualitative data, you have your quantitative data, you have continuous data and discrete data. Now your qualitative data is the data that describes something. So it describes a person, a thing, or whatever it describes. Then we have the um quantitative data is numerical data like your numbers. 2,000, 3,000, 10,000, and so on and so forth. Then we have the continuous data. So continuous data goes on and on and on. It's kind of like the other, like the analog signals. They go on and they never stop. Then we also have the discrete data, which take only certain values within a range. Now examples of data are numbers, names of things, words, measurements, observations, description of things. And then we have different sources of data. We can get data from the television, can get data from internet articles containing original or research data we have you can take get it from government um, documents you can also get it from newspaper you can get it from textbooks you can get it from biographies so presently i'm making this video from a textbook actually i'm using a textbook to source from the um the information you are getting from this video now in order not to look too far, let's just consider my case here. Now, I am a vlogger. I'm producing this video on data and information. And as you watch this video, you are getting the information. But the data itself is the raw facts. Those pictures that I brought together, the image files, the audio files that we encoded and then um, and compressed and and then um, and processed to form this video you watch. So that is how I want you to see data and information. Now, I want you to see it as basically a transformation from one form which is raw to another form which is like the process and cooked form now data handling data can be handling in basically two me methods they are the electronic and non-electronic methods now basically what i'm doing here now is i'm making a video i would edit it and s compress it now that is um is it's called um it is electronic data handling but when i make use of paper Maybe if um uh, when we, we talk about files, documents, that's non-electronic data handling. So basically, this video we talked about the definition of data as raw facts and pieces of information that have not been made un meaningful and useful for their their um, purpose. Then we have information. So information, as it is, it has already been um, processed. It is useful and meaningful. So we also talk about sources of data, examples of data, and types of data handling. So before you go, you can also try these questions. Explain the concept of um, data and information.
So you, have, you can also try to state the types of data, name the two ways of handling data, and differences, differentiate. So these questions ask you to differentiate, differentiate between data and information. So this is these are the four questions you can also answer. You can ask, you can comment the questions answers as comment in, the, in this video, or you can send it to the number in the description below. But I prefer you comment the answers to this question so we can discuss on your your opinions about data and information. Thank you for watching and see you next episode.